I too wept at George's body, blanched and smelling of ceremonial flower, trashy lipstick, a pilfered soul. Georgia, the only one in white, gone shopping for Jesus. Auntie Louise made the best strawberry rhubarb, the backyard buried next to the dead dogs and cats and the rats. I too wept at George's body, beneath the sundress that birthed those curves, the bustiers and lingerie hiding under the floorboards, the cherry pop bleeding onto the bed, gone to get a witness or the morning after pill. The choir musing overtones, preachers filling hearts with stained glass windows, families getting trashed and fucking, cousins giving hand jobs and tongues in sacred canals, paddling beyond Fellowship Hall. I too wept at George's body. 187 at Hollywood and Vine. There she was, bleeding on Hollywood and Vine, the Catholic saints and illegitimate sons of Medusa in observation. Hearing from a luxury window, bourbon spilling on my terry cloth bathrobe, I wait. 6 p.m. and room service is stale. Flames swing dancing on the walls, careful not to wake the neighbors. The saccharine aroma of baby prostitute wafting from the bathroom. The LA Times rolled into tunnels, lines on the leather chair. I adjust the window and itch my junk. Red and blue flashes of light patronize wheelchairs spinning. The barking dogs have huddled for a subway romp downtown. Puddles of drugs oozing into brothels and yellow taxis street cleaning. Who are the scoundrels amongst the mobs, the hipsters, and Midwest white trash? I'd name only one suspect. But then, I'd forget when forced to speak. I saw the whole thing. It was a damn tragedy. And the gods shall have their revenge. And I too shall have mine. Oh.